So hello everyone, good morning for our dearly parents and pupils. For today, um, first of all, we would I would like to have a short recap for our guidance, school guidance services. With everything that is going now, Sambuanga Chongwa High School Guidance and Counseling Office assured to be at service and ready to give support even from a distance. So these are the patterns of guidance of our school guidance program services that we offer. For our orientation services, orientation program about the school rules and regulation and guidance services will be given to old and new students, parents, guardians, faculty and staff via online. For our counseling and psycho-emotional upkeep provided to all students and parents of Zumbuanga Chongwa High School the guidance facilitators will be listening from you to learn about your situation and your feelings. Learn how to help you and your family understand and adjust to changes in routine. As a result of life issues, facilitators can also provide direct telephone counseling services and their online video call. This is the one-to-one -one calling and in any time as needed. For our career guidance services, facilitators will give opportunity for students to prepare themselves well and safe, well and stay focused on their career goals while fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us help you develop a composed mind so you continue to learn and grow even in these unstimulating times. And for our individual inventory service, the guidance facilitator will gather and update the personal data of the students through Google Classroom for accuracy of information. And for information services, the guidance and counseling office delivers pertinent information on this new normal situation to help the administration, faculty and staff, students and parents, guardians, to go on transition easily. For our testing and admission service, online admission and testing is being catered to all new students and transferees. For any questions or any queries, you may call our, our office for any questions that you needed to know or any inquiries. So that's all for our guidance and services. So before we move to our main topic for today's webinar, I would like to introduce first to you our I care rules. So it is the best thing that you can do each day is to remember our I care rules because they work not just only inside but also outside of our school and at home. So let's just jump in to our first eye care rules. First eye care rule is we listen to each other. For example, somebody in your family is asking you to do something or talking to you. So we need to listen to them, especially if it is our family members, our parents, and our siblings. And eye care rule number two Hands are for helping, not hurting. So, we use our hands to extend help, especially to our family and friends and to other people who needed it. And I care rule number three, we use I care language. So, very important that whatever comes in our mouth, we need to know if it is good or bad or it may hurt other people or it may help other people so very careful for whatever you say to them so i care rule number four we care about each other's feelings so how can we show our care to them so we can show our care with other people by listening to them 
helping them and using kind languages or words. And the last one is, we are responsible for what we say and do. So, always remember, think first before saying anything or think first before doing anything. And always remember that if it may help other people or it may hurt them. So, this is our I care rules that we need to remember each day. So, first is we listen to each other. The second is hands are for helping, not hurting. And number three, we use I care language. Number four, we care about others. We, uh, we care about each other's feeling. And number five, we are responsible for what we say and do. So, next slide that we have is our I care statement. So, we can use this statement when we are communicating with our friends, to our family, and to other people. So, number one is, say the person's name. So, when we're calling our friends or our family members, we say their names. If their name is John, Anna, Marie, we need to use their names when we're calling them or we're, when we are talking to them. Number two on your statement is, say how you feel. Say how you feel. If you feel upset or sad, you tell them so that they can understand what is happening. And number three is, tell what happened to make you f that makes you feel that way. So tell your family or your parents, if you feel upset or sad, you tell them why. Why do you feel that way? So that they can understand you. And number four, say what you would like to happen next time. Because it may help them, your parents, or the other people around you to understand you even more and also will help you. So this is our I care statement. Another slide we have is our I care language. So we can use this languages um, every day if we communicate other people also. Our friends, our family, at home, at school. So example is this are thank you saying thank you saying thank you if you receive something or you're asking something that gives you favor we say thank you number two is we say please when we're asking someone to give us some favor or asking someone to get something for us we say please to them number three i care language is may i help you are you okay? By this, you are showing them that you care with your friends, you care to your friends, you care to your family, you care for your parents by saying this I care language. And number five is saying excuse me. And I am sorry if you have done something wrong or you've done something that is may hurt other people, you say, I am sorry, to make them feel that you understand them and you feel what they feel. So you say, I am sorry. So this is our I care language. So next, our steps to good listening. So in communicating with other people, with our friends and family, we need to look at each other when we're talking because so that that person will know that you are listening to them. Number two is only one person talks at a time. We cannot talk both at the same time because we cannot understand each other if that's so. And number three steps in good listening is repeat the other person says. Number four, ask questions if you don't understand. So this is our steps of good listening. So again, what's our I care rules? Is we listen to each other. Hands are for helping, not hurting. And we use our I care language. 
and we care about each other's feeling and we are responsible for what we say and do. So, let's remember this every day. So, thank you and let's go to our main topic for today. So, for our main topic for today's webinar is about bullying. So, remember, bullying is not okay. So, what is this bullying ba? So, bullying is when someone tries to make you feel bad over and over. They might do this by calling you names, such as funny names that they think it was you, or they think that it describes you, something like that. Or thinking something of yours, such as your things, hiding your notes, um, forcefully taking your stuff, your school stuff, your pants without your permission. Or swearing at you, saying bad words that may really hurt your feelings. Or the worst thing is kicking or pushing you. Uh, this is such a worst thing that may happen if someone is bullying you. So, we need to remember some few things. It is going to be okay. And it is not your fault. And things will get better. Remember that it is not your fault that nobody deserves to be bullied. Because sometimes people bully others because they're also having a hard time within themselves. People who bully are also feel weak. Sometimes they do such behavior because they want to make their self feel that they are strong, that they can do anything in their control. But actually, inside of them, they're also weak. They also experience being bullied. So that's one of the reasons why people bullied. So, what can I do? What can you do if you are in that situation? Remember, do not try to hurt that person back. Do not fight back because it might get even worse. The worst thing may happen is both of you may have physical injuries or you will be called to the office and have some punishment or your both parents will be called to office and may they feel that disappointment or discouraged about the behavior. Another way is do walk away and try to stay calm within yourselves and take a few deep breaths and count 1 to 10 to make yourself calm when the bully is there or when the situation when you are in that situation. The other way that you can do is build your army, which means surround yourself with people who cares about you and appreciate you exactly for who you are. Be with your friends. Be with your friends, your family, your siblings, your relatives that they know who you really are and appreciate and accept you. If it's hard for you to find someone's a school, you can be with or you can join with some clubs or with people or schoolmates that the same interest as yours. Such as for example, if you have glee clubs at school, you love singing, join that club. In that way, they can also help you and comfort you when you need it. Another way is Ignore the bully. Ignore the person who is bullying you. Get out of there. Find your way to execute yourself with your bully. Because the one is bullying you or the bully wants your attention. If you give that attention to him or her, it may satisfy him and makes him or her feel more strong and more bullies on you. So, 
just stay with your friends and he or she sees that you have a lot of friends or a lot of companions at that moment there will be probably that he or she will stop bullying you and the other one is the best thing that you can do if you are in that situation or if you saw someone who was bullied by other kid or other student you will tell adults or someone what is happening talk to a parent talk to adult that you trust for example the school talk to your teacher if you have guidance the guidance office is available go to the guidance office and report such behavior so that by this they can help you to do what um, the things that needed to that situation and most probably they can also help the person who is the one bullying both of you will be helped by your adults or the guidance office so remember you don't have to deal it alone because there's always help available do not forget that so always remember also Bully stands for B. Be a friend. U. Use a kind words to comfort. L. Look for and report bullying. If you saw someone or if you experienced such behavior or such scenario, report it immediately. Another L stands for learn to be nice. And Y. You can stop bullying. Your safety is important. If you are being bullied and need someone to talk to, give us a call, send us an email, or start sending a private message. So that's all. We would like to acknowledge and give thanks to the sources that we have for this presentation from kidshelpline.com. So once again, Thank you very much our dearly parents and students for joining us and giving us your time for this webinar that we prepared for you. So, in spite of these new settings, that new normal settings that we have, the Sangguanga Chonghua High School, the Guidance Office are doing their best to extend our services to our dearly students and parents' needs. So again, thank you very much and keep safe. God bless.